Hi, it's uh, Andy again here from Finlingo, and today we're going to be looking at the M squared uh, equation, uh, the Mogdigliani equation, uh, named after Franco Mogdigliani and his granddaughter Leah. It's basically a modification of the Sharp ratio. Now, there's been a little bit of semantic change in the last couple of years about what M2 is. What M2 used to be is now called M2 alpha, which I'll explain in another video. Um, M2 now is something which is a precursor to M2 alpha. Some people used to call it M2, what is now called M2 alpha. But don't let that worry too much. If you're watching this video any time past uh, 2020 on the CFA curriculum, what I'm about to do is M2. So let's get straight down to it. Again, it's part of the CAPM stuff. And uh, it's, it's, it's a way to judge, it's a risk-weighted way of judging a portfolio. It, it can be used as a ranking tool, but it's better than the Sharpe ratio, which it's a modification of, because it gives you the kind of percentage above what the market return would be uh, in risk-adjusted terms. And if we take away the market return, we end up with um, M2 Alpha, which tells you exactly how much better the portfolio is than the market return. Anyway, don't worry too much about that. Watch the video linked to at the end, which covers the old M2, which explains where M2 comes from and what it's for and why it's so much better than the Sharpe ratio. Enough theory, let's get down to the, uh, to the stuff. Reading 53, and down to M2, a bit of, bit of a dull icon on this, but I thought it was good because it's, it's, it's in a square. Notice that, the, the, it's M inside a square, M2, M squared. Let's suit yourselves. Okay, so what we need to do, first of all, is take a look at the help. And you can see there that it's going to be the return of the portfolio, or the expected return, take away the risk-free rate. Then that's going to be multiplied by um, the, the risk of the market divided by the risk of the portfolio. But in a way, this is a sharp ratio in disguise. This is basically the sharp ratio multiplied by the risk of the market. Then we're going to add on the risk-free rate. Uh, that's, this is going to be part of the risk adjustment process. And then that gives us M2. Later on in another video, I'll take away the market um, uh, return, and that will give us M squared alpha. But that's not now. Let's, let's do this one here. Let's go back to the question. So just do the sharp ratio, first of all. So that's going to be the anticipated return, which is 40.44. So 40.44. And then we take away the risk-free rate, which is in the text, 3.29. And then we divide that by the portfolio risk, which is in the table, 37.01. That's basically, that is the Sharpe ratio. Remember, Sharpe ratio can only be used to rank things. The, the number itself doesn't mean anything. Just if it's higher than another one, it's better than another one. So it's a ranking tool. It's, it's not... Um, Kind of quantitative thing. Now let's uh, let's m square this. So we multiply that now by the market risk, which is at the last line of the text with the Verena and uh, Finn Morton from Brothscan Brokes Brokers. Sorry. So let's uh, let's multiply that by the um, thirty-two point eight four. Uh, and now we're going to add on the risk-free rate. So that's, uh, where's that again? 3.29. And that equals 36.254. Anything close to that? Yes, C, I think. Let's click on C, fingers crossed. Oh, here we go. Yes. There we are. And there's the calculation. There's the equation. And that's the new, from 2020 onwards, M2. M2 used to be what's now called M2 alpha. Don't worry about that. This is the new M2. Let's take a look at the next question. There we are. So in this one, what we do is we would uh, have 35.33, take away 1.85, divided by 31.06, multiplied by 24.51, add on 1.85, and then we get to the answer. Anyhow, just about running out of time. Uh, so I'll best end this now. I'll see you next time.